All right, thank you very much for joining me here. I'm going to be taking a look at the Go7 Gaming insert for Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Uh, I was extremely impressed with Go7 Gaming's insert for its bigger brother, which is Gloomhaven, right back up here. Um, and I had to order this one, and I want to show you guys um, what I had in the past and why I decided to get the Jaws of the Lion. Uh, just a little bit of Gorilla Glue that I'm going to be using. Uh, anytime you do any of these kind of inserts, I think one of the biggest things you got to make sure that you look at is whether or not the adhesive that you're using or the glue that you're using uh, doesn't expand too much uh, to where it kind of warps the wood or pushes the wood out. But most of the stuff, if you lose sparingly, you'll be just fine. So before I jump into the Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion insert, again, I'm going to have this thing completely constructed so you don't have to worry about watching me do that. I want to quick give you a quick look at the Gloomhaven insert from Go7 Gaming that made me want to absolutely 100% jump into Jaws of Lion insert and please 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 Go7 Gaming let's get one for Frosthaven started as well. I'm sure it's well on its way. I apologize for the glare, uh, but it won't last long. So I'm going to kind of show you uh, with a fully um, assembled insert. Uh, it does raise the uh, box top up slightly. Um, but again, if you're with as, as large as this box is, you still got this much uh, cover uh, that is still being held by the box. And it's okay because the way that this is stored, I got an optional tray uh, that if you don't get, will actually push this down completely flush. But I got an optional tray and I'll show you what that looks like inside. Let's go ahead and pull this top off here and you'll see right away the tray that's there on the top. All right, so we've got the game board right here at the top. All right, some... Uh, extra stickers, those uh, removable stickers for uh, Forgotten Circles. Just a quick uh, guide that I, I kept this page. You can print these out. Sometimes your uh, insert will come with them. Very detailed on how to uh, put the whole thing together. Again, these are some of my removable stickers. Again, removable stickers. I did something uh, with magnets and the uh, original stickers that came with the game, and I'll uh, show you that real quick. Uh, at the end of the video to give you an idea of what I did. Okay, so all of the uh, manuals are up here on the top. Again, you can kind of see how it uh, is still sitting in that tray. So all of my manuals. And then all the kind of extra tiles. Uh, so all the room tiles, uh, some of the extra stuff, uh, some of the retaped uh, material. You've got uh, your uh, player dials. Again, a bunch of stuff up here on the top, and this tray just comes right up and off. All right, and then just look how, look how beautiful this thing is organized. And this wood is extremely, extremely heavy duty. Uh, very impressed with how uh, good the quality is. Uh, this uh, box was shipped uh, from uh, the United States all the way to where I'm at right now in Japan, and it held up extremely nicely. Uh, nothing came apart. Um, I guess good on the shipping company. All right, what I what is the absolute uh, best thing about Go7 Gaming is each and every character has their own box. So. I mean, I've kind of marked this one just so this is my own marking. It just reminds me that this is the one that I need to hold behind to put up in here. Uh, but again, this is one of the characters. Again, each one of these pieces is so very, very nice. Um, I, I'm, again, I'm so impressed with like how um, sturdy the wood is. And again, uh, I haven't unpacked this in a while, so as you play with it, the, the wood kind of uh, isn't as uh, tight as you saw me trying to take it off there, but uh, there's all the stat tokens. Again, very, very nice wood. Extremely, extremely strong. All right, so a couple more tokens here. 
just keeps going. Steady bases. In there. I mean, just the thickness of the wood. And see how I'm kind of white knuckling it here? Yeah, it's I've been so impressed with this. Uh, another favorite um, laser cut insert company is uh, Daedalus Productions. I've used that a lot for uh, my Fantasy Flight games. Uh, they do have uh, one for this set, but it's it's really what sold me on this one right away is what you'll see kind of pop up here very shortly. Um, and that's all the other character containers. All right. So all the cards. Again, I've got a little bit of tape here. Again, I could take all this stuff off, but uh, I kind of did that just for uh, shipping purposes. And all the cards fit nicely in here. All right, here's some of the tracker tokens. All right, here it comes. Look at that. And the thing that is nice about this is it comes with these keys. So if you need to get uh, your tokens out of there, these are extremely convenient. So those are all the room tiles. All right, there, right there. That's what sold me on this insert, are each individual character has its own box. So here we've got some more monster. Again, you got one of those tile keys to get the uh, monsters out of there. Makes it extremely easy. So you're not trying to sit there and dig around. Put that key inside there, lift up the uh, monsters that you need. Extremely convenient, very well thought out. But again, sorry, I keep getting distracted by some of the other things. That's That right there is what made me want to get this uh, game insert from Go7. Um, it's just each individual one of these boxes. Uh, here's some of the monster sheets. Sorry, I keep trying to show you guys some other stuff, but... Very, very nice, very sturdy. All right, I'll show you a couple of these. Again, each and every one. All right, so this isn't one that uh, is kind of secret. Uh, the uh, secret ones are sort of here with the, uh, the stickers. Again, these are original stickers that I use, just if I ever want to put it back together. I know these are the individual um, ones that are at our secret. <laughs> All right, so kind of see here, character has a little spot there. All the cards, again, you can uh, fully sleeve these cards. Uh, there's space for that, so plenty of room. You got your tokens back there. And this will fit right inside there. And then this will kind of line up. Let me put this over the right way. And this will line up perfectly so that you can see. Uh, let me get this thing down there. Oh, I got the thing turned around. Turn this around, do this properly. All right, so this guy lines up there. It should be a, a no brainer, but I kind of messed it up. But again, can't put it on the wrong way. Line that up. Just like that. But okay, so these right here, I just uh, cut from the boxes of the original game. Uh, I cut them out and then just put uh, some a little dab of wood glue there. Uh, I pressed it down uh, and put some weight on it. Uh, but that is a nice way to mark these so I know which one's which. Um, but because while they're inside the box, they're kind of sitting this way. You can't kind of you can't see exactly which one they are but I held on to those. It would have been nice if they would have laser etched the uh, markings on there. I don't know if they've done that for the Jaws of the Lion, but it's uh, something to consider for future. Um, but yeah, nice etching on those would have been uh, 
pretty cool. But otherwise, I just I made do with uh, just sticking on some of the cardboard there. Okay, that's what to expect from Jaws of the Lion. I'm going to throw Jaws of the Lion together, and you can kind of see what that one looks like. But again, this one is Go7 Gaming's insert for Gloomhaven. Highly recommend uh, that set just because of these individual boxes for each and every character. Here, I'll show you this uh, one here for the cards. And everything fits in there. All these cards are sleeved. Each and every card is sleeved and it fits just fine. And I've got a little bit of space, a little bit of room for uh, some extra cards there. All right, let's check out Jaws of the Lion. All right, when you get it, it's going to be extremely well packaged, very tight uh, wrapping uh, that they use to make sure that nothing moves around uh, and it feels like a solid piece of wood when you get it. Uh, I've already started kind of peeling it back open, but just wanted to tell you that the packaging is, is very good. All right, so let's pull that plastic, get rid of that plastic. All right, so right here on the top, uh, we've got construction tips. So again, you're gonna see each and every one of these pages that uh, help you. And when I got the uh, the uh, Gloomhaven uh, insert, it had a bunch of these pages. So there's assembly required, but it's nice and detailed. And if you need more of them, uh, you can go online uh, and get a step-by-step -step if you needed to. Uh, but again, this here is storing your trays in the box. So this one I will keep and have that on the top of the box. So if I ever needed to reload it in and I forget how it goes in, but again, there's those character boxes, which I absolutely love. All right. So we'll kind of go through each one of these, just kind of show you. And extremely well laser cut. All this stuff pops out just like it would be a uh, cardboard punch board that you get inside of a game. Show that Go7 Gaming logo. Made in the USA. I really love your stuff, Go7 Gaming. Well done, always. Um, yeah, and you do have that beautiful wood smell that's been laser cut. So I am noticing that uh, with the character trays, uh, that piece right there just, again, easily popped out of there. No worries. Uh, I am noticing that with some of the character trays, it doesn't seem to have any etching on it for the uh, particular uh, character. Uh, that's probably be the only thing I wish they could uh, throw on there uh, to kind of give us the ability to know what it is. But again, I'm just going to take the stickers, take the boxes, uh, cut it out, and then uh, glue it on there so that I know which one is which. All right. Let's get to assembling. And here we are. We are complete with construction. Here is the Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion Go7 Gaming insert. Uh, I've got the overall how to re-box your game. I'm probably going to put a piece of tape on the back of the page there and then stick it to the top uh, underside of the top lid. All right, so we have our supplemental book for the map. We've got our glossary, learn to play guide, Scenario book itself, the map, stickers, and then right there, uh, the smell of the wood is always uh, always there. It's always present. It's a, it's a nice smell. It's like a new book smell. All right, so I've got uh, my elements board, uh, character sheets, and then the monster standees. And we'll kind of talk about... Uh, there's, there needs to be laser etching here, uh, comparatively, uh, like the original um, Gloomhaven had laser etching on what was in the boxes. There's none of that in this uh, particular set, so I wish they would have done that. It would have been nice to know what's in this. Uh, you memorize what's in it uh, over time, but it would be nice if you're playing with a group of friends to say, hey, can you 
pull that box out and pass me that particular thing. But you're most likely going to be playing with most of these boxes open, uh, so it's not that big of a deal. And most of what's inside of here is uh, clearly marked, um, and I'll show you that here shortly. All right, again, you have uh, character boxes, the four characters. Uh, you've got things like your money tokens, you've got uh, your condition tokens, and then also your map overlay tokens, like your traps uh, in these three boxes here. Condition cards, I'm sorry, your event cards. Player dials. Your monster compendium, and this is where we're talking about. It'd be nice if that etching was there. Comparatively, on the original Gloomhaven box, you see how we have monster compendium. It would have been nice to have had that monster compendium uh, on these new ones for Jaws of the Lion. Got your sealed boxes and monster attack cards. Monster sheets and cards. And you got your individual cards here and you can see how those are laser etched there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me come around there. Nice up and close. So you can see how you have your attack A through K, L through Z monster attack cards. Um, and then you got your goals, items. And again, all these cards here are sleeved and they fit in there and they have some room in there. Again, they're, they're brand new sleeved cards. So even though that they do have room in there, they'll have even more room once that air actually goes out of them. And then some of your smaller boxes here. What I do like about these, I like this little additional um, cutout here. It allows me to get one finger into there and then another finger on the outside and push up. Uh, not all the lids are super tight, um, but it's nice to have that because comparatively on the original Gloomhaven boxes, not none of the smaller boxes had this little notch here, uh, but you can see how all of them have um, where they need to go. Uh, it would have been nice to have the laser etching again on the lid itself um, because, let me show you some of the other boxes. All right, so you can see these two boxes here look very similar to this box here. So all three of them are very similar in shape and, and size. The only difference is these notches here that kind of help hold the lid on. You've got four notch here, three notch there, two notch here. So you could call it box two, box three, box four if you wanted to. But comparatively, um, you've got, let me grab one of the uh, actual boxes that have similar things in them. So you've got original Gloomhaven, um, Again, same company, Go7 Gaming, laser etched on the top of the lid, status tokens. Now in this box, again, you've got these three boxes that look similar, and this box is my status tokens, and I only know that because I've just memorized it. Again, here's this little notch over here, which I really like, helps with uh, getting it out, because these box lids are slightly tighter, and I think it's just because it's brand new, um, but you can see how you've got each individual condition token laser etched for marking. Uh, but condition tokens here, again, you're probably going to be playing with the lid off, so w whatever, right? But it's, it would have been just nice. It seems like they just um, decided to forego having that particular um, extra etching uh, on the boxes. But again, Gloomhaven original, and then Jaws of the Lion. Uh, again, there's no laser etching. The only laser etching that is on the whole set for Jaws of the Lion is the company logo, Ghost Seven Gaming. Again, very good quality, and I'm probably just gonna have to go ask a friend that has a laser etcher uh, to put those kinds of things in there and try to match it as close as I can to this kind of block lettering from the original. Uh, but I'm not sure why that wasn't uh, included in this set, but uh, not a big deal. It's not a game breaker. It, just, it would have been nice. Uh, and I say it would have been nice for the reason of because these particular lids, some of them only go on one way. Uh, and different ones, like this one here, you see how this notch down here in the bottom is the same as the other side of this notch? So it could go on that way, but it's these notch positions and the size and space from center that it can only allow it to go on one way. 
but you can see how I have a notch here at the bottom left and then the top right. Now, if I took this off and made this like that, you can see how it doesn't quite line up. I don't know if you can see. I mean, it's it's very, very subtle how off-center they are. And I mean, they're made that way, but um, it would have been nicer and easier if it just, the etching um, was where it needed to be. And then I knew that side went up and I know that those two need to go there. See, that would have been nice to have um, damage, money, activation tokens written on here. Damage, money, activation, or activation, money, damage. And then I would have known that's how it would have gone back on top. It would have been a little bit faster, but not a big thing. It's just, it's not a bad, it's just an other. All right, character boxes. Uh, from the original box, from the original Gloomhaven, you can see the boxes are identical. Uh, I've taken and cut these out of the original boxes that the characters came in, and just kind of uh, the lid itself has a smaller icon and it fits perfectly on there. Uh, again, don't mind this. I, I used a different glue this time, and you can see how the glue I used previously didn't lose any, um, leave behind any kind of residue and staining, and I might have been rushing a little bit and got a little sloppy, uh, but you can see how there's a little bit of staining. Um, I kind of used a, a white style, uh, clear dry um, wood glue, and this time I used a Gorilla uh, glue, and I can show you that real quick. This is the glue I used. Again, this is a, an extremely good bond glue, uh, but it does leave behind sort of that residue that you can see. Again, Gorilla is a good glue and it, it does hold extremely well. It's holding very tight, um, but it does leave behind a little bit of, a, of staining, but it does hold very well. Again, I'm trying different types of glue to see which one I like best. And again, you can sand your boxes and stain your boxes. So I might do a little bit of sanding and maybe uh, I might remove these and get them the icons laser etched in there because all you need is really the, the, the negative and then laser etch them. I'm not quite sure why they didn't laser etch these. Maybe there's a copyright and he can't uh, use that or Go 7 Gaming can't use that. But again, don't mind me. This is just my glue style. I'm trying different types of glue to see which ones I like the best. Um, but, um, so again, identical boxes, but they did, you know, it kind of makes me, it's, I'm a little curious because they didn't do some of the laser etching that we talked about for these smaller boxes here, uh, or on the monster compendium or the larger box over here or on any of them. There's no laser etching other than what's on the inside of the box, but they did consider the, the new boards, the, uh, character boards from the original Gloomhaven had the icon. Uh, let me open these up and it might be a little bit easier to understand. But uh, so you can see how this Gloomhaven original player board for the character is to the center. So the box that lets you see what's inside the box. And they did this not knowing I was going to do this, but uh, instead of doing the laser etching on there, which is something they probably couldn't do, uh, they make these little windows. So the new boxes have the window over to the side to accommodate for the, the new character boxes themselves. Again, this, this wood is very thick, it's very strong. Uh, I really do like that. But again, these are sort of a vertical versus a horizontal layout. And they, you know, they compensated for that, which is good, instead of just making the, making the other boxes uh, the same and then just saying, good luck. Uh, but it does do well by that. And again, the inside of the box layout, Again, uh, on the left is the original Gloomhaven uh, insert from Go7 Gaming, and then the Jaws of the Lion over here on the right. Very similar layout, everything fits where it should, and there is some extra space for if you're wanting to save a game and you've picked up specific types of uh, items, and all the cards in here are sleeved, and uh, there's some room in there, but you don't really need much more than that, and then you add some things as you go. Uh, but definitely enough room in there. So those are nice. Layout's the same, but they did accommodate uh, the new player boards. So you can see here, Monster Compendium from Jaws the Lion, and then here, right here, 
is Monster Compendium number two from the original Gloomhaven. And you can see again, there's no Monster Compendium laser etching. Now there are two Monster Compendiums in the original box, so it's nice to have those labeled, but still there's only one status token box in the original Gloomhaven, so why not etch it? I don't know. But anyway, this is a, it's a pet peeve, I have to keep mentioning it. But uh, yeah, again, no laser etching, but this L-shaped uh, pretty much tells me it's the monster box. So again, the uh, little notch over here is extremely helpful. I just essentially put my fingers right next to each other, one finger underneath there, my thumb, and then I just push up and leverage works perfectly and it's still a snug fit. You see each individual monster has its own individual space. And again, I love these keys. These tile keys are extremely easy. So if I can't get my fat finger in here to pull out a monster, I just put this key in here, lift it up, and then I can grab everything that I need very, very easily. So I, I do like this key. Um, but yeah, everything fits in there very, very nicely. So one of the things I do like, uh, again, I mentioned the uh, notch here, but I like, it, it feels like it's a little bit tighter of a fit um, on some of these boards um, as they slot into some of these uh, raised pieces right here. So again, th this board is extremely, extremely thick, extremely rigid, not flimsy at all. Uh, another one of the tile keys. Uh, again, that would probably be best for this one, uh, but again, very, very nice. Again, would like to see some etching on here. So again, etchings on the inside, and this is how you're probably going to end up playing the game is with the uh, boxes open. Uh, so it's not a big deal for gameplay. It's just for just for overall storage. Got a little fuzz there in my, into my thumb. All right. Again, the, the the overall fit seems a lot more snug, and that might just be because of these. And there were uh, comparatively from the original. Gloomhaven, I'll show you those. See? Laser etching. And there's multiple things in here. They could have put multiple laser etchings on there. Oh my gosh, more laser etching. But anyway, <laughs> so Go7 Gaming, I love you guys. Your stuff's really great. Just kind of curious why there wasn't any laser etching for the uh, um, the lids. But anyway, you can see how some of the, uh, the dividers on the inside of it. And like I said, comparatively, for some of these boxes, you see like these are, this is a token box and you look on the edge. Again, this is the uh, original Gloomhaven um, insert from Ghost Heaven Gaming. And I kind of look around here and that notch is, is not there. Um, and then here on the top, you can see how the notch right here makes it a heck of a lot easier because when these raised pieces of the dividers um, fit into the lid, it makes it a little more snug, which is nice. Uh, but some of these, again, over time and over play, these things start to come up fairly easily. And you're not too, I'm not too worried about it. Um, but again, this is original. It's starting to fit. Uh, it's still fitting after hours and hours of play uh, from the original Gloomhaven. It's still got a nice, nice snug fit. And that, that's because of those individual pieces of the dividers coming up into the lid to hold it on there. But uh, this one, again, same. It's nice and snug. It's not coming loose, um, but because that snugness, sometimes it might be a little challenging to get it out, but that notch right there makes it nice and easy to open. Bravo Zulu, Go7 Gaming. Yeah, just give me some etching. Where's the etching? All right, the instructions for these inserts have always been extremely well, and they just seem to get better. Um, some of the suggestions, uh, as you can see here, they do really well with um, make sure you kind of gentle pressure back and forth. Make sure you read your instructions for anything that you use. But I mean, some type A personalities will just, I'm going to go for it. And sometimes it's fun just to figure out how things to go together, but always dry fit. And they even say, uh, always dry fit pieces first. It's even in blue. Please, please do this because sometimes you can get pieces mixed up, but they do a really good job. Like I said, these instructions do an extremely good job with saying this is the plate number and the uh, individual plates themselves are labeled accordingly and they have a, a laser etching and there's sort of an example down here, but that is actually laser etched into the physical board. And I'm like, 
why don't I just go grab you one? So you can see uh, board number seven out of four, Gloomhaven 004, whatever set, um, but seven out of 10. So all you have to do is go find plate number seven and you can kind of see how it's, it's laid out there. Kind of see the negatives there. I don't know why I'm making this difficult for myself, but you kind of see how that shape there matches what's on this particular board. And I, I can't focus twice, but you can kind of see you just hold the laser etching down here on the bottom right corner and then put that laser etching on the bottom right cor corner to orient the board. And then it'll tell you each individual piece, what number it is. You can see how it says uh, G. So you go and find G over here on plate number four. So let's find uh, where all the Z's are at. And so all the Z's are gonna be the ones that go in here in between. And then you find L right here. And here's your two L pieces. And when you find them, that's extremely, extremely useful. And even they go sort of this order and they say these brown pieces. Uh, when they should go in. Um, but yeah, extremely well put together. Easy, easy to follow. Uh, it takes a lot of time because there's so many pieces and it's so well constructed. Uh, but yeah, very well done. Um, yeah, I, I used um, a painter's tape and I think they even mention it in here. Um, don't hesitate, larger, package, tray. Yeah, right here. You, you can use painter's masking tape for some joins. Uh, depending on the glue that you use, they, here's, they recommend uh, tacky glue and it's called Sobo Craft Glue. Uh, but I just made sure that whenever I put my uh, pieces together, I put painter's tape. Um, sorry, I keep wanting to grab to kind of show you. So I, I just use the blue painter's tape and this stuff comes off extremely easily and it doesn't bind or bond with the glue itself. It may get a little bit sticky um, you know, in the beginning stages, but when you peel it off, it comes right off. Um, so yeah, I use blue painter's tape. I use it for pretty much all the constructions that I do for all companies that uh, have these wooden inserts that need to be clued. Again, this is, and as they say, each piece should be removed from the frames with gentle pressure. Our inserts are designed to be glued together. So do use glue. Make sure you prepare for that. See, that's fairly simple. All right, so here you got one of the larger boxes. I uh, put my character sheets in here uh, that I've used from a previous game. And then you can put your element board there and then your other sheets there. You've got plenty of space left over. Uh, all the uh, monster stands and then some of the bosses there. Again, there is laser etching down there for those individual pieces. There's not laser etching in here, and that was one of the things that uh, was a little bit challenging. It was like, what is this large box used for? And I, obviously, they fit in there after a little bit of the checking, but again, listen. It's a snug fit. Again, would like to see monster stands. Um, what did I have here? <laughs> monster stands, bosses. So. So monster stands, bosses, and then character sheets, whatever here would have been would have been nice. Okay, again, as I said, I'm probably going to tape the back of this sheet and then have it inside the lid so that I can put everything back. But everything that goes in the box is pretty much uh, should be in frame. So I want to try to do it justice by showing just how simple some of this stuff gives in, how perfectly it fits. Now again, character boxes, and again, I'm I'm referencing over here on the side on where some of the stuff should go. So uh, you know, be be nice uh, on how I put this stuff in. But again, all the character boxes, uh, again, it's done lengthwise. So I guess these boxes could go uh, either side. But um, again, follow your instructions overall. All right, so here I've got the uh, hatchet. Now I found that uh, when putting them in there, the symbol um, goes right over the initiative uh, storage there, uh, and then those uh, marker tokens, and then that uh, window, that window that's right there is gonna go over it. And again, this uh, large piece right here goes into that gap right there, and then right on in. So there's one. 
And again, I face them all rounded edge, could go either way, it doesn't matter. All right, and then those three kind of identical boxes that we talked about. Uh, again, you could have them go this way, you could have them go this way. Uh, it doesn't really matter, they're symmetrical when it comes to um, overall width or depth, height. <laughs> Um, all right, so the next thing that goes in are the monster cards, and they kind of lay flat, uh, and I usually have this open end right here facing into a side that's stopped by the edge of the, the box itself. All right, and then the uh, events. All right, and then cards can go in there. Player dials. Attack cards, monster attack cards, and then some of the hidden boxes. All right, and then the monster compendium. And then the uh, character sheets, the element board, uh, and then the, um, uh, the bosses, and then there's also some uh, monster stands. Again, I would like to have some etching on there. Uh, and then pretty much what I do is I will take the board uh, and lay it down first. Uh, and then the stickers themselves, I either put underneath uh, because I don't, because you can kind of see, let me come around there. You can kind of see how part of it is sort of getting slightly bent. I don't know if the light can catch that, uh, but it's starting to kind of, maybe you can see it there. Uh, and that's the binding of the um, scenario booklet. That binding that's right here is kind of pushing up on uh, the sticker sheet. You know, not a big deal, but I don't want it to start to peel the uh, sticker out there. So I will probably put, most likely what I've been doing is putting the sticker sheet there. And again, that's going to change once you get the board and it won't matter because then the board is a living board. But I'll put that right on top there. And then I usually put uh, one of those on first, separate those two. And I can do that because again, the thickness of the uh, book itself and kind of try to have that uh, leveled out as much as you can. All right, and then the sheet itself, again, like I said, I'm gonna tape that there. I just use this, the box, to kind of line everything up, let the box lid come back down, and then all the way down. And the lid lift uh, is about that much. And again, I don't mind the lid lift all that much. What it does for me is it allows me to get my fingers underneath the lid fairly quickly. Um, whereas uh, if, it wasn't, if it didn't have a lift in it, I'd probably have to lift the box up a, li a little bit to get my finger underneath the uh, bottom of the lid to lift it up. But a little bit of lift on the lid actually just seems to make it a heck of a lot easier uh, to get off. And again, that's for me, that's not gonna be for everybody. So here's what I do for my map for Gloomhaven. Again, this is the original Gloomhaven. I've taken each one of the individual stickers, the original stickers, not the uh, uh, removable stickers. Those wouldn't work very well. And I have this sort of uh, double-sided, not double-sided. I mean, you've got a mag, it's pretty much a magnet. It's a, it's a roll uh, magnet strip. And on one side, it's got some adhesive. Uh, so if I peeled this white, uh, uh, paper off here there'd be some adhesion there uh, but again the stickers themselves also have adhesive on them so again those magnets uh, I use against a uh, piece of sheet metal uh, on the backing and this was on sale for like five dollars one day at my uh, local hardware store so I was like heck why not uh, and again I just use pieces of the uh, magnetic strip here uh, to hold the printout of the map. And again, this isn't the map board. This is a printout uh, that uh, I got a hold of and then just went to my local uh, office uh, store. Uh, I think it might have been Staples and then uh, printed out uh, in a pretty high quality. Again, th th these are extra things that you don't have to do. This is just f sort of me. Uh, so again, I, I have the removable sticker set, but I thought, you know, why not go the extra mile and just make a magnet set? And uh, I I've got this thing that I'd, I'd probably uh, put up against uh, here. The only thing I'd change is probably drill a hole here and then onto the wood backing. Uh, again, this is just an old bed frame that I'm not using anymore. Uh, and then I could probably put one hole here and then because you can see as you touch it, it kind of wobbles a little bit. Um, but all of the uh, banners, again, these are all magnetic. So this banner, once I achieve it, would go down. 
but uh, right now it's it would be up like that. And then I've got each individual one for like this end of corruption. I would just take this and then put it on there. These are the harder ones because having these magnets somewhat closer together, they want to push themselves apart, but they're okay. Uh, but again, one thing I was concerned about is whether or not the stickers would, um, you know, they did a good job on this particular map. And I'll show you uh, real quick what it looks like for the Jaws of the Lion. All right, so here's the Jaws of the Lion map. Now, these particular stickers, I don't know if I can get this uh, with some light, but you can see the stickers themselves overlap. So this wouldn't work for this system that I have. Like, I couldn't print this out. I might be able to print it larger, and maybe the spaces would spread out, but I don't, I don't think it would. I'd have to print it the exact same size. Like, this board right here, this printout, is the exact same size as the actual board. That's why the magnets actually work. I had to make sure that they printed it out the exact uh, diameters of the board so that the, uh, the stickers worked. I mean, I don't know why. They could have made this board a little bit bigger, but it, I, I get it. This this is sort of uh, Gloomhaven. I wouldn't call it Gloomhaven light, uh, Jaws of the Lion, uh, but a, a quicker introduction maybe. But anyway, you can see how the stickers themselves overlap each other. So I wasn't able to do the magnet system that I was here uh, because each individual sticker never overlaps. And you can kind of see how I've, I've lined up everything. I mean, I probably should say, uh, if I haven't already, spoilers, but um, uh, but you can kind of see that each one of the uh, stickers, these magnets, again, just come right off. I stick them over here, and then I have these sort of number magnets over here that kind of tell me, you know, when it's reached 70 or when it reaches 90, and I'll put all the other magnets over here on the borders. Uh, but you can kind of see how 34, I just take the uh, 34 number, and I line it up with the uh, number 34, and it lines up with all the particular lines up there perfectly. And that does it for everyone. Even the ones that are relatively close, you can see how uh, 24 and 16 are fa fairly close together. But because the stickers, even themselves, originally never overlapped, I just had to trim the uh, magnet uh, itself. So I would like put a sticker onto this. I would peel this off, put the sticker on, and then trim the magnet to fit perfectly around the uh, sticker itself. Uh, so again, it took some time, but again, you can kind of see how number 27 just fits perfectly where it should. Um, and all the lines and everything line up where they should. Uh, some of the magnets don't have anything really bordering them, so it's a heck of a lot easier. But when you get over to Gloomhaven, itself you can kind of see how some of them get relatively close like 18 and 83 uh, but again you can see that it the lines and everything perfectly lined up it just took a little bit of trimming on the magnets and everything fits perfectly so that's how i do my gloomhaven map uh, i use magnets i guess i should mention number 70 and 17 uh, they're extremely big stickers, and the magnet strip that I was going that I'm using um, was not big enough. So I have to go find out. I've never gotten around to actually getting these two um, to those islands. So um, yeah, so it's 93, uh, 17, and 70. I've never gotten around to making magnets for those stickers. So uh, when I get to those spots, uh, I just sort of say that I've done it. <laughs> Thank you to Go7Gaming for making an awesome insert. Uh, I hope that they, and I'm pretty sure that they will make one for Frosthaven. So if you liked what you saw here, go check uh, Go7Gaming out. Uh, I really enjoy their inserts. Uh, a lot of companies do a lot of really good things, and this is just one that I selected primarily for those character boxes. So thanks for watching, guys. Check out the next video.